Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Just a bit of more updates for you guys as well is that <clears throat> Chile has announced their 23 player squad for the Copa America tournament and essentially for their match against Jamaica. Now remember that Chile has a new coach under their helm right now and that head coach is no longer Sampaoli who was using the 4-2-3-1 sort of formational scheme but now under new head coach Pizzi he is intending to use uh, a system that looks to be a 4-1-2-1-2 sort of system so it should be interesting how Chile sets up for not only the Jamaica match but also for the Copa America tournament so getting into the 23 man squad for La Roja of Chile. Their goalkeepers Claudia Bravo, a Barcelona goalkeeper, Johnny Herrera, Universidad de Chile goalkeeper, and Christopher to Tostelli, uh, Universidad um, Cantolupia, a local player in Chile. The defenders you have Mauricio Isla, who plays for Marseille in France, Jose Pedro Fuendalida, Universidad de Catalunya. Catalolica, Gonzalo Jara, Universidad de Chile, Enzo Rocco, Espanol in Spain, Gary Medel, Inter Milan in Italy, Eugene Menya, Sao Paulo in Brazil. The midfielders, you have Jean Bossajor, Colo Colo in Chile. Remember, Bossajor is has Caribbean roots in him. His father is Haitian and his mother is Chilean. Uh, Marcelo Diaz, uh, Celta Virgo in Spain. You have Francisco Silva <coughs> who plays for Chipiapas in Mexico. You have Eric Pulgar of Bologna in Italy. Arturo Vidal, the Bayern Munich dynamic player. You have Matias Fernandez of Fiorentina. You have Charles Aranguez of Bayer Leverkusen. Pedro Hernandez, Fabian Oreña and Edson Puch of LDU Quito in Ecuador and now going into the forwards we have Alexis Sanchez Arsenal's player Mauricio Pinilla of Atalanta in Italy Nicolas Castillo of Universidad de Católica and finally Eduardo Vargas of Hoffenheim in Germany so that rounds out Chile's 23 player squad let's not forget as well Chile are the Copa America champions, the defending champions, they won their first title last year in 2015 beating Argentina in the final and this will be the second time that both teams meet because in 2007 both teams met for the first time in a friendly international under then head coach at the time Bora Militinovic where Jamaica lost 1-0 on that occasion and that result was not seen as a disappointment from a Jamaican standpoint because if you look at the squad that we had during that period of time we only had two overseas players part of our squad and the bulk of it was local players. Borman Milutinovic was keen on having a very local based nucleus to build them up because it was a similar sort of platform that he had with the likes of Nigeria, Costa Rica, United States, Mexico and China with that local base of players and he was hoping to carry that on but the results didn't go their way and we had uh, Captain Borrell came back into power replacing Creston Boxil so Borrell Militinovic was removed as a result of this and those overseas players were in the time were Luton Shelton that was part of that team as well Ricardo Gardner was there uh, Fabian Davis was one of the senior local players part of that squad and but I do have to give credit to what Borrell Militinovic did in giving youngsters an opportunity to play Donovan Davis was one example, Alien Whitaker, Dwayne Miller, Dwayne Carr, and I was talking to Dwayne Miller last year prior to that Nicaragua game, and he was saying to me that he'll never forget what Bora Militinovic did to him at, at 19 years of age by giving him his debut in that 2 0 win over Indonesia. So, I know I've gone on a bit of a tangent here, but that's basically Chile's 23-man squad. Very sturdy, and Jamaica has a very tough match on their hands against the team that is ranked number three in the world. It's a good test, I must say, preparing for the likes of 
Uruguay, Venezuela and Mexico. So we need these sorts of matches in order to get match fit and prepared for this tournament. The FA Cup final is on Saturday, so what that means is that Adrian Mariapa as well as the English bunch of players will be leaving from England heading to Chile on Monday while the MLS players will be heading out from as early as Sunday for this encounter so they would arrive in Chile <clears throat> the bulk would arrive on Tuesday and some would arrive earlier on Monday so it gives us at least two training sessions in before that Chile encounter with Coach Schaefer and Miguel Cole as well given an opportunity to flesh out their system and have one last dress rehearsal before the Copa America tournament. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to leave your comments in below about the Chile squad and your expectations for this encounter. Don't forget to share this video as well, like and subscribe.